Hello everybody, welcome to episode 4 of the Horde Rush series. Is that a grown potato? No, but it's getting close. But in today's episode, I think we're going to try and mad rush some quests in hopes of unlocking more crafting because we need, need to unlock more of them. Forge ahead books, we really do, for a plethora of reasons. Not just forge ahead, but it'd be nice to get more electric trap books too. It's just a lot of things we need to do. Or to put our iron and steel away. What else do we not need here? Plenty of things, I'm sure. But that'll do for now. The rest of this is stackable stuff. Uh, you know, how much forge time? We have 73. That'll be enough to handle the horde knight for now. So yes, we're going to take our bicycle, fill up on water. Mm, moisture. Drink about three of these and then get questing like a madman. Oh yeah, the bike's red. Why did Rekt give us a red bike? I don't know. It's a new turn of events. Oh, it's locked. Crap. <laughs> Damn, I forgot that that was a thing. Well, I guess we'll spend a bit of time getting iron, which should be right back this way, if I remember correctly. Should be iron relatively close to the base. So follow this little road here. There it is. Iron. Might as well collect this while we can, or while we can't do anything else, because... The forged iron is going to be how we keep the zombies at bay for a while, at least for now. It's cobblestone and forged iron for probably, I don't know, 14 or some odd days till I can get a lot of forge ahead books. Speaking of which, I probably got level ups from that last horde night. How's that looking? One point? I must have spent all of them. We need six intelligence? or at least seven, to finish up lockpicking and the next point into this. So that's our goal. We're going to need three more points to achieve that, though, getting us to seven intelligence. As far as I know, Advanced Engineering is the only perk that affects the Electrical Traps books and their drop rate, because nothing else affects that. There's no perks that affect Electrical Traps other than that one. So what could it be? What would it be? Oh, I broke my ass. I should probably make sure that I'm not putting myself in a hole here. I don't have parkour or anything, so it's not like I can just jump my way out. Never hurts to get more clay anyway. Yeah, that'll probably do for now. Get back to punching. I think the merchant opens at 6 or 6.15, something like that. So we've got a little bit of time. Time to kill. I would love to spend the entire day collecting resources and making an absolutely thick base. But because of the A21 system where you learn by reading, I will never be able to move past cobblestone if I do that. I'll be locked down. So we have to quest each day, at least some amount, in hopes of getting books. If not questing, then we at least have to raid houses. Which might actually be faster, if we were to just rummage through every house in town. But it just seems more efficient to do it while questing. Two birds, one stone. You know the thing. We do need more iron. It's almost six. I guess we can just queue up this stone to cook and then walk to the merchant. I mean, not stone. Iron. Same difference. We'll grab that and ride our way back home. I should set up walls here. As soon as spiders appear, they're going to be a bit of an issue if I don't have walls up. Um, what is this? What? Oh, right, I was building things. <laughs> Whoops, confusing myself. Uh, let's put some more clay in here. Quite a bit more, and then basically all of the iron. We can only craft three more bars. Let's see. Is there anything we do need to craft? Anvils, can't do that. Bullet casings, arrowheads. No, not really. Just forged iron. Can't think of anything else that would be useful. Unless we're going for nail guns. Could use that like some ammo. Don't forget you have a bicycle. I almost just started running to the merchant. So we're going to quest as hard as we can. And then when we're done, you know, can I open this while I'm on the bike? No, I guess not. Figured I'd try. All right, wrecked. Stop staring, asshole. Stop being an asshole while staring at me. Is his store restocked or anything? See, ammo, sledgehammer, forge ahead, buying it immediately. Big hitters, southern farming. I don't need the rest of this. Wait, batter up volume four. Increased chance of knocking down your enemy with power attacks. Hmm, I could, but seems like a waste. Yeah, it does seem like a waste. Banded armor plating. Now that is tempting. Sure, we'll take that. It's basically a permanent plus two to our damage resistance. Infest it clear. Finally, 175 meters. I bet we can handle this. After putting on the banded plating armor and reading the forge ahead. I think after one more point, we unlock the workstation or workbench, which is good. Feels good to finally have some real progress. It also feels good to have a bicycle. I forget, does encumbrance change the speed of your bicycle riding? I don't think so. Bring this over here, I guess. I got in this mailbox? Yeah. 
Should assume that I've gotten most of them by now. Uh, wait, no. No need to loot trash. Just get the car and get out. Infest and clear. Tier 2. Then again, I don't know if there is a such a thing as a tier 1 infest and clear. Lock picks, we scrap those. Steel club parts, I guess we can sell them. Another forge ahead. Good, I'll take the forge steel. Coffee beans. I don't care. This though, I am interested. Let's crack that open. Wiring. Good. Pistol beat. And batter up. Sprinting with a club drawn in combat uses 20% less stamina. I didn't know about that one. Pretty neat. Gotta remember to keep my club out from now on. Let's collect these cans. Scrap polymers. I guess we'll start with the basement. Started from the bottom. Are we her? What's up, lady? How's it going? All right, infested clear. It means it's gonna be ferals and, well, just more zombies. But we can manage that. Just took out that entire batch without even thinking about it. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. It's seven mega crush. What the hell? I can't afford that right now. Actually, Blackstrap Coffee could be really good for the Horde Knight, since power attacking is a big part of my damage. Yeah, I'll take one of these. Sure. Toilet. Yep. The classic. Shit paper. Should we even loot most of this? Yeah, we do still need water. So we'll continue to speed loot the cupboards. No cornmeal. Beer. Not worth selling. Just not worth enough to equate to all the inventory space it takes up. Let's keep going. Oh crap, we have a cop? Really? Seems a bit early. Just a bit. Potato. We cook that. Can of biso. Just eat that now. Might as well. And continue onward. No zombies in this room? Anything behind here? Weapons bag. Nice. What's inside? Rifle world and parts. Drop these. You can sell the machete since they're already in a stack of two. Makes it worth more. And upsy daisy. Here we go. <laughs> Feels pretty good to be able to do all of this with a wooden club. It's quite efficient. Costs nothing to repair. Yeah, I keep getting coffee beans. Can I even make coffee yet? Probably not. Let me check. No, I can't. So I'm just not gonna bother. Leave it there. More coffee. I'll take the rotting flesh. We're going to have to use farms at some point. More cornmeal. Not interested. Chicken soup in the microwave. Probably take it out of the can first. Whoever did that's an absolute animal. I see a bookshelf. Now I've been chewing. Oh, she's feral. Damn. Infested clears. They really are built different. Handyland? Yeah. Might as well read all the books for now. And in here, probably a closet zombie? Hello, closet zombie. No? Just a purse. Not quite the same as a zombie, but... Well, should I take this apart for springs? That's the question. Oh, but this is so slow. What about a power attack? Three springs. The springs are worth four dukes apiece. Yeah, we're gonna pass on that from now on. Till we spec into scavenging. How many zombies are we looking at? Crawler? Take that guy out. One construction man. Doing everything a construction can. And down here... Oh crap. I don't like this. Nope. Spiders. Just start power attacking. And ferals. Oh crap, I pinned. Use this key. Yep. Walk through here. Ain't that some crap. <laughs> That's some shit for them to do to people. Oh, gotta get rid of this feral. I don't have a gun either. I gotta just sprint away and hope for the best. Okay, finally one down. <laughs> that was rough. Doing that without a gun sucks, but I did see the infested cache, so we're about to get ammo. We're just gonna need a gun to put the ammo in. We did get an infection. I'm gonna take these painkillers to get my health back. Well, I guess we never reloaded the mailbox. Let's do that now. Uh, we can sell this mod to the merchant to get this bookshelf. I did. Now, where was I? I was over in this room, I believe. Here we are. Infested cache. Barbed wire mod. Oh. Using a club, so why not? Bunker Buster, put that on the stone ass. Everything else is scrappable or collectible. I didn't get that much ammo. 89 9mm, 71 7.62. Little bit of shotgun. Vitamins. I guess I'll just eat those. Tasty. I have to cure my infection. Hopefully, I have honey somewhere. Fake hitters, the great heist. 10% more damage to saves. That's always welcome. Ammo pile. Tier 5 stun baton. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna scrap that. It's not worth enough. Tools digest. Neat. It's always good to be able to craft better tools. Pulling mesh mod. Scrap it. Bone knife. Well, it's tier 5. Guess I'll take it. And a food pile. Nice. I'm probably gonna want this cloth. I don't really care about the springs, so I'm not gonna whip out the wrench for it. 
I want to get back home quickly to see if I have honey, because if I don't, well, we might have a bit of a problem. Let's check inside this truck. I guess now is where we can test whether or not the encumbrance affects the speed of the bicycle. And it feels as though it doesn't, oddly enough, which is nice. The bicycle isn't that much faster than the player, but when you consider encumbrance into the equation, it's a pretty big difference. Wait, the difference. We'll visit Wrecked first, and take a peek at the vending machines, see if there's any honey or anything. Oh no. An abrasion. I'm infected. Anything else you want to add on to that list game? Uh, none of those killer infections. It's all just drinks. Congrats. What do we have? Ooh, helmet light mod. I'll take that. Don't even think about it. Now let me check his food. Do you have honey? Honey. No? What about medicine? Oh yeah, a jar of honey. I'll just buy that. Right, now that we're done, this Don't overthink it. Shut your mouth, Wrecked. I will leave your doors open and feed you alive to them. Pleasant people waiting outside. Uh, is there anything else here I want to sell? I don't think so. Everything else should be held on to or used. I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. I'm gonna hit you with the tip of my axe, Wrecked. Modify that. Then we'll put the barbed wire on here. What does this do? Bleeding. Right. That could be good for the club. And the last thing is this helmet bod. Guess I'll put the bandit plate somewhere else. Right here on the chest. Another infested clear. I do want ammo, but I don't have the guns to go with it. Just accruing an intense amount of <laughs> danger. Well, whatever. It's just more XP. We'll keep going. We got a little bit stronger because, well, bandit armor and barbed wire mods. We'll pay a visit to the base and start dropping a few things off. Maybe drink some water, eat some food. I don't think I have anything for an abrasion, but I'm gonna have to be careful with this particular quest. Pick up the water that we got for sure. And the potato. Potato, potato. Let me just drop some things off. The ammo for sure, since I don't have a gun. I could craft myself a pipe rifle or something. I'm not against the idea. Might need it for emergencies. Uh, we gotta get something on the hot bar. Put the cobblestone away. Put the black strap coffee in here. We'll use it when the horde net arrives. You know, if we can remember. Eh, that'll do for now. Off we go. To another infested clear that we probably shouldn't even be doing. I know. The perfect activity for a hardcore run. Taking on quests that you're definitely not ready for. But what can I say? I want to stockpile ammo as soon as possible. We get enough 762, I will in fact craft myself a pipe rifle or machine gun. Probably a machine gun. The rifles are eh. Uh, Alright, well, let's activate this. The Richmond residence. I'm not going up. That's what they want me to do. I'm gonna find the front door. I want to reduce the odds of me falling into a trap again. First, we'll check the mailbox. Mailbox. Big hitters again. Nice. If I want to reduce the odds of me falling into another trap, I have to take the route that they don't want me to take. Bet there's a zombie somewhere in this garage. There's always a couple garage zombies. Well, that's worth a lot of dukes. Washing machine could have armor. Dirty glasses. That's what we like to see. Gonna wear that right now. Football helmet? Ooh, it's quite a bit more armor. Mobility reduction, though. Uh, still worth it. Let's go ahead and switch that helmet light over. I'm okay with losing a little bit of mobility now that we have the bicycle. Put the helmet light mod on there. Switch. Scrap that. Back to questing. Steel club parts. Guess we could sell those. Yeah, we're just gonna start dropping those. Uh, crush sand. Don't need it. And this is locked. Unlike the Darkness Fall series, bar doors are usually locked. Let's see, one, two, three, four on the radar. I can handle that. I can definitely handle that. Sounds like there's a spider though. Gotta keep an eye out for that. Where is he? Oh nice, the bleeding just killed that guy. And the club killed that one. Ugh, man. I think that might have been a feral. Good god, look at that mug. Beautiful. What is a cooking pot worth? Four. Four dukes? Nah. Three of these cupboards for books and potentially water. Nothing amazing. So, let's continue onward. Anyone else in the POI want to say hello? Trying to clear the first floor before doing anything else. Alright, up we go. I didn't see a way into a basement. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, relax. I guess we'll just do this. I see a cop over there, so this might actually be our safe way out of the infested clear batch that they love throwing at us. We'll initiate the fight against cop men. Yep, another feral. The ones that aren't sprinting or spitting can have normal attacks, but the cop and the ferals can have the power attacks. Gotta keep them locked in place. Nope, no boom boom. You do that in the bathroom, mister. Are you dead? You are. Good boy. Who's a good widow zombie? You are. Painting? Oh, damn. My survivor senses were tingling. There was nothing signifying that, that, that there was something behind that. Vehicle crafting? Good. Ooh, that is another 3.3% damage reduction. 
but I lose 6% mobility. Pass. We'll wait until I can upgrade to steel. Pocket launcher parts. Wait, actually, how much are those worth? 80. I guess we'll keep them. Already checked the bookshelf. I think all we have left is the attic. Sewing kits. Don't need too many of them, but just a couple. Um, I like the privacy in this bathroom. It's, um, breezy. Let's make our way to the attic. Upsy daisy. Hello, everybody. It's nice to meet you. Are you gonna drop in from the ceiling? Yep, should have known. Should we? Oh, man. She means business. I can't move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what the hell was that? I was like stuck up her dress. Awkward. Ouch. You just... I want no ferals. No ferals allowed. I'm okay with normal zombies, but no damn ferals. Ooh, one shot. That's rough. Just leaving scalps on the table here. Guys, there's a path right to me. What are you doing? They're derping out down here. Ooh, one shot a cop, too. Gotta love that crit chance. Well, there's that. Time to check the infested cache. That is a lot of 762. I think it might be time to craft a pipe rifle. We've been locked down a path. It's not a bad one, but a path. Polymer string, arrows and bolts, whatever, blah blah, we can sell it. Crack open the passing gas. Tools digest. Van Doiler. I think we have one of those, but I'll check real quick. Van Doiler. We do not. Put that on now. It's quicker reloading when you have it equipped, which is good. Very good. Well, we'll grab that and get out of here. I don't have parkour, so I won't do the thing that I like to do where I just punch through a wall in the attic and fall out of the house. Instead, is there a key rack? Yeah, we don't have to beat this down. I want to ride my bicycle, and so I shall. Bicycle time. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Can I high pipe machine gun? Oh, it's just a little bit of glue and pipes. You know, it's really not that bad. We'll do that. It's a lot better than the pipe shotgun, that's for sure. I really don't know how you're supposed to use that. Like, what purpose could it ever serve? Oh, what's up, buddy? I guess I'll close the door. Don't want him wandering in. Say or even. I don't want to hear it wrecked. All right. We have steel. Nice. Books. I think I'm more into the books than the steel. Yeah, I think I am. Books it is. What else do we have? A clear 240. We'll do that. More we'll Reddit. Sell things direct. Like this. And rocket launcher parts. Again. It's the kind of life we live now. Where we just get rocket launcher parts randomly. Electric tra Shut your mouth wrecked. Sharp sticks. Home cooking. Let's see. If I have the gun, should I keep it on me during quests? Probably. You know what, we'll put the wrench in the two slot and the gun over this way, and we'll leave and start reloading. After we bonk this guy. Kenny, nobody's interested. I don't want to buy you drugs. Reload this and get questing again. It's about midday. Uh, we are over encumbered, but is it mostly stackables? It is. We'll just continue onward. I have to remember that I can also put, what is it? Six, two, three, nine. I can put nine items in the bicycle if need be. We'll see if that becomes necessary though. I think we can potentially finish this up and slip in one more quest before the horde night begins. I don't have too many adjustments to make to the horde base. But if we happen to have time after doing two more quests, I'll build up walls around the entire thing. Or at least start the process for it. We'll start with the garage up here, then go to the basement and make our way to the top. Take these apart for money. Howdy. Anyone in here? No? Nobody. Wow. Oh. Yep, something that just surprised me a little bit. Only a little bit, though. Kept my cool the entire time. Water? Nice. What about here? Beer. Not interested. We'll jump up here. I do see. Spy with my little eye. Savage country box. Big hitters. Boost club proficiency. I don't believe. Make our way over here. Get this pop. Poppin' gas? <laughs> what was I about to say poppin' gas? Tools digest. Scrapping for fun and... I can leave the rest. I'll get wheels when I need wheels. It's gonna be a while before I can craft anyway. Any charred meat in here? No, just charcoal. Watch our way through the front door and get this started. Ouch. Ninja strippers. That's not okay. What, two zombies here? What in the bathroom? What in here? Are you bleeding? I can't tell. Unlike Darkness Falls, there's no HP bar to see their health going down. You just have to hope for the best. <laughs> Too bad it's not like Elden Ring, where when they start bleeding, it's just... This mass of blood that's like more than their body weight. Blueberries. Interesting. Oh, Shabway sealed shipping grate. That's a mouthful. Southern farming in a blueberry pie. I'll just put that in my inventory. When the quest is done, we'll eat it. Wait, did I get these cupboards? I did. 
Good. Check the rest of these rooms. Ooh, a chair. Let's grab that for leather. Not getting much of that so far in this playthrough. Ooh, bookshelf. Damn it, just paper. This should really increase the rate at which you can get these, uh, learning books. I've got a lot of opinions on that particular game design. Hopefully they change it in A22. At least make it a bit more tolerable. Less RNG. Some people don't like relying on random number generation for their gameplay. Oh, there is a basement. Down we go. See two zombies on the radar. Not too bad. Oof. You know, I was gonna take you out in one hit, then you jumped and I had to get you in the gut. Rough life. You brought it upon yourself. Oh, that's beer. Drop it. Not worth it. This, though. What, uh, working stiff crate? Ooh, forge ahead. That's what we like to see. I believe that's, that means that we can make workbenches. Hold on, before I walk forward. Bench. Gosh, some forged iron and nails. I can do that. I can do the crap out of that. Oh, no. More spiders. Man, I hate these zombies. They're just unpredictable and loud. Mostly loud. So loud. What's in here? Forge ahead? No repair kit, though. That's something, I guess. Pumpkin. Oh yeah, I can't get dysentery from this, so I can just eat the random food that I find in containers. Why am I looting trash? Washing machine? That could have armor? Nope, just got some booties. Do I have any? Oh, I have scrap boots on. It's way better. Scrap the cowboy boots. Take this, check the cardboard box. Not much. Back into the man cave. And I guess back upstairs. There wasn't too much to this basement, so up we go. Oh, it's getting dark. But like, only because of a storm. Good thing we got that headlight lamp. Upstairs we go. Let's repair this thing. The club is getting close to breaking. Felt my frame rate hitch, which means the sleepers just spawned in. Here's one. How did they all wake up at once? Is that what's going on? I can handle it as long as they're not sprinting. Lumberjack, what are you doing here? What are you doing? There's no trees in this area. You silly, silly goose. Oh, don't, don't start doing that crawl animation thing. I don't like that. Well, they're all dead, so I guess it's time to start looting. Tier 6 padded hood. Ooh, I think I might actually like this in comparison to the one that I have. Yeah, yeah, it's just better. Technically, it's not, but it is. It's better for me because I'm running pure melee. The 0.56 stamina regen really adds up. If I start wearing a bunch of heavy armor, I'm going to have stamina issues during the Horde Night. Serious stamina issues. Then at tier one, <laughs> the loot disparity between those two bags was palpable. Sneaking over trash makes no sound, don't care, but I want to learn it anyway. Shotguns do 10% more damage. Straightforward, to the point. I like it. Let's get this cloth and check the rest of the rooms. Closet with drugs. You know, pretty standard. Some shit paper. More nerdy glasses. They're worth 200, so I guess I'll sell them. Oh, iron chest armor. We'll scrap it. Very dark. I remember to keep my headlight, headlight lamp on. It's just a million tongue twisters today. Wiring. Shotguns. Scrap this for leather. I knew it. Man. <laughs> my survivor sense is really popping off today. We're about to head back, so I guess I'll grab the club. How much cloth are we going to get from this? Five? Nah. Nah, dog. Not worth it. Uh, robotics parts. Those might be valuable. Maybe. My brain still has a hard time processing the fact that they switched the ammo type to lead. When it was iron, I, I just used the robots all the time. Eternally. I always had one out somewhere. But them switching it to lead just changes everything. In a not good way. Iron leg armor? Well, that's worth a lot. Actually, it's just straight up better than my current armor. So I guess I'll take it. Do that. More dukes and cash and safes, registers, and ATMs. Neat. Scrap the arrow rest. I like that I'm getting better armor. This, I guess we can sell this armor. It might actually be a bad idea to try to sneak in another quest, so I don't think I will. Instead, I'll prioritize putting together more of the base, mostly by putting walls up. Electrical traps, wiring. Ooh, robot. Ooh, ho, 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 yeah. Yeah, baby. That's what I like to see. We just got a robotic sledge. Yes, we did. Let's go and punch through here. Where's my bicycle? Oh, it's on the other side. Guess there was no reason to punch through there then. But we got a robotic sledge. That could change everything. I just have to rack my brain as to how. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll take a peek at Rex's stuff and see if he has a fetch. If he has one of those, I'll just clear that out real quick. If it's, I'll say, less than like 400 meters, we can do that. I dehydrating. I'm being unmoistened to death. Chicken. See if we can run this thing over. Yeah, straight lines, straight line. Yeah, just barely touch it with my wheel. These are some weak chickens. Weak little chicken. Mmm, meat. I'm too over encumbered to not use my bicycle just for this short ride to the door. 
close it so I don't get slapped in the back of the head, and just slowly sprint my way to wrecked. Hey, buddy. I did the thing. Okay, what are we getting? Iron helmet, don't care. I gotta take normal armor plating. Forge steel. Iron shovel. Ooh, eh, uh, not worth repair kits. Crafting skill magazines. Got it. Fetch 260 meters. We'll do that real quick. After we sell some things to him. Uh, handgun parts. This. Dirty glasses. What else do we have that's just sellables? Right. This armor. Uh, the robotics parts. You know what? I probably will never craft those myself, so... I'll just sell them to him. Military armor parts. There's that. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, sure, wrecked. Now I'm gonna drop some stuff off real quick. Open that up, just leave it open. Don't care if wrecked has his face eaten, we'll just go get a different trader. I think we have enough time to make it to that BOI, grab the fetch thing, ride our bicycle, merrily back home, and even start a little bit of crafting. Or uh, upgrading base building. But we'll see. We have to drink some water first. We're basically keeping ourselves alive with the water that we're finding at the quest. This pie is taking up a whole slot. We'll put it in the campfire for now. Electrical traps, tools, handy land. Uh, yeah, we'll drink a little more water. Man, I'm thoroughly over encumbered. Can't wait until I get a bunch of pocket mods. Sledge in there for now. Very quick fetch. Don't kill the things. Unless you absolutely have to. We grab the loot and we get out. Just keep riding, just keep riding. I'm really trying to rack my brain as to how this base could have flaws or what could cause it to just suddenly fail. And the biggest thing is that it's basically held together by a single block. We recently had a problem with the Darkness Falls base and a similar issue. Here we are. Let's grab the mailboxes here. Have we gotten this one? No. Explosives. That could be useful one day. Pink mailbox. Ranger's Guide. <laughs> what are you doing? You absolute nuts. Just start the quest to get this fetch over with. Very quickly. It's so right in here to the left. Right in here. Is that metal on the door? What the heck? Ooh, shipping crates. Crap. I guess we've been distracted already. Oh, everybody woke up, but it's not infested clear, so there's not much to worry about. Shouldn't be any ferals kicking around. Come in here. Kill Kenny. And then that lady. Whoa, hey. Watch out there, bud. That could have been dangerous. You almost killed a man. Grab this. These two boxes. Oh, cooking. Eat the can of peas. Nope, don't use the club for that. Wrong tool. Furious fists. I guess so. Take the vitamins and drop the blood bag. Grab this. I guess we just kind of punched our way to the main loot, which is great. Leather. Great heist five. Fall up to 15 meters without taking damage while carrying 5,000 dukes or more. I'll have to remember that. That might have had something to do with the reason- Ooh, also triple pocket mod. That might have had something to do with the reason why we died to death <laughs> in the, um, the other thing. Let's go in armor. It does. Either way. Highly valuable. Reloot the mailbox. Let's say piss off. Man, whoever lived here were my kind of people. Now let's go ahead and turn this in. We don't have too much time left. Best to not dilly dally. Short ride back to wrecked. And now, oh, I left the door open. Nice. Close it behind so I don't get hit in the back of the head. It's okay if Rek does. He's kind of an ass. What do we get? Or steel bite bombs. Leather chest armor. Oh, stop tempting me with different kinds of armor. Take the steel. Anything we want to sell to him? This. This used book. And the rest can be stored in a chest. Blah, 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 blah. Wrecked never has anything good to say. I'm going to keep this door open for the Horde Knight. Hopefully he'll get eaten and then replaced by a different traitor. That would be nice. Rest in peace, Wrecked. Let's keep the bike a vague distance away from the base so it doesn't get hit or anything. Let's see, we're going to keep some water on us for the Horde Knight. Not going to bother with the food. It's not needed. Is that a fully grown potato? Yes, it is. Now, do we have skill points? We do. One point into living off the land. Doubles harvest. So we got four potatoes for that. Now, if we wanted to make a potato seed, we can't. Look at us, making mistakes already. <laughs> Crap. Well, we'll just start planting corn, because we can. No, don't put that in there. Do it like this. Corn. Put the corn back. Use the hot bar. Grab some forged iron for repairing purposes in the night. And where's the cobblestone? Right here. Hmm, I need more cobblestone. For sure. For now, I guess we'll just reinforce these walls. It could be good with just going too high. The spiders can't usually jump too crazy high. Usually. Yeah, this should be fine. Alrighty, so we are going to me things so that they... Oh, there's a Kenny off in the street. What are you doing, dude? Bro. Bro. Go home. 
you're drunk. Uh, I'm actually gonna put a little roof over this. It's not super important, but I just don't like when they start crawling all over each other. Actually, they could crawl onto the roof. Not if I extended this way. Yeah. This should keep them in check, I assume. We'll see. Just upgrade it to cobblestone. It's not even close to 40 blocks, so I should be able to. How much cobblestone can I craft right now? 100. Just get this roof upgraded, and then we'll leave everything else alone. Everything else is more or less supplementary. I feel like I'm missing something, but we'll see. I have a terrible habit of jinxing my horde knights right before they begin. But I have a gun this time, so, you know. We should be fine, right? How much more cobblestone do we have? 300? Yeah. Let's upgrade these bars. I'm gonna keep the zombies locked in as much as possible. Actually, no. We are going to be replacing these bars with a different kind of bar. And there's a reason for this, I swear. We do have time. But these ones. This will keep them from, well, jumping over things. So that's what we want to do. Because as it stands, one of the flaws here is that if they break through one wall here, then they can just walk their way to the back right behind me. That wouldn't be good. I'm not expecting them to in this particular night, but they could at some point. I guess I'll just leave these as they are for now. We'll upgrade the rest later. We'll at least get these to wood for now. It's a little bit of XP. It doesn't hurt. You know what? We have skill points. We'll raise this and this and... You know, I could actually replace those with better hatches. It's not a bad idea. Oh, they take a while to craft. We'll just craft two of them right now. Well, it's about to start. Let's see how it goes. And here we go. This is truly just pure chaos. It's been okay so far, and I had to switch to the gun for a little bit of a moment, although I don't really know if I needed to. But the problem is, they're hitting blocks that they shouldn't be able to, like the block directly above me and the block above the hatch, instead of hitting, well, the hatch or the walls around it. So they're trying to dig up, it seems. The AI is doing its seven days AI thing where it's using its engineering degree to find the weakest point or something. But for the most part, I have been able to manage the horde with just club power attacks. Occasionally, a zombie or two has snuck its way in, which has been uncomfortable to say the least, because they're crawling over each other. I might actually have to get rid of the roof that I built. We'll see. And they're also, yeah, because I have that roof there, they're crawling and doing this. They're, yeah, this. They're peeking their heads through the hatch there and attacking me. Which is of course uncomfortable. A mechanic that really shouldn't exist. Crap, gotta repair my thing again. Well, now that that's being repaired, let's check the rest of this. Keep everything nice and healthy. They really are prioritizing this block above me here. Which is weird. I guess it does have less health than the iron hatch, but man. These guys are confused. Beyond. Sadly, the hatch is... <laughs> Just a little too tall to comfortably power attack the dogs, so I have to find a very specific angle to hit them when they're in front of it. But still, this really isn't horrendous. There's just a couple quirks and problems that I'd like to be fixed. Ah, damn it. Like that. The zombies peeking their heads through the blocks like that. Here, the dog trying to hit it. I just have to find a very specific angle. I keep hitting it with glancing blows, but eventually that does kill it. I wonder if the glancing blows can actually do uh, the bleed proc. That'd be cool if they could. More dogs. Well, I don't know how the XP is going, but <laughs> it's probably pretty good. This is insanely effective. Ow. Oh, he's crawling. I see. This is insanely effective. I just, you know, I'm gonna heal real quick. Out of time. Sounds like I've whittled them down quite a bit. Go and repair things again. That, this up here, and then the rest can be ignored. Mo, I need you to stop phasing through the universe, please. Thank you. 
I appreciate that. Now there are birds, but they're dumb enough that they're hitting the blocks above me. It's one bird. Just take him out. I haven't thought of how to deal with them yet. I didn't think that they would show up just yet. Oh, I know I have a knife for this. Mm, burb. Let's go ahead and repair everything. It sounds like we've survived. Oh, that we're gonna break the bridge. I might have to move the campfire over and put some blocks underneath that. Or, actually, what I should do... Originally, there was a hatch right there. And... Well, they didn't take too kindly to the hatch being there. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a plate right here and here. You know, we'll just cover the entire bridge. Upgrade it to cobblestone just to give it twice as much health. We'll know that there's a problem out here and that we might have to just mow down the zombies and try and repair the bridge if we hear the cobblestone taking boatloads of damage. Like if we see this plate get broken, we know there's an emergency. Let's take a peek here. Nothing too bad. The AI is being routed really well, considering the amount and the fact that I only have one block wide, or a one block wide entryway. So the stairs are the primary point. After they get to a certain point on the stairs, then they get confused. Or if these zombies pile up too much, they'll start getting enraged and just attacking things. So this is the primary thing to pay attention to. I might want to get the sides of it too. Eh, we'll worry about that later. For now, I'm gonna celebrate with this blueberry pie. Yeah, pie. Uh, we still have some water in our inventory. We'll drink one for now. And I guess get to looting. Can of dog food. That's a delicacy. Our crossbow bolts, better volume 5. Bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Nice. I like that. Tier 5 leg armor. We can sell it, I guess. Drop the- actually, you know what? We're right next to our base, so we'll put the plastic cast in the box. The storage chest. We did handle this very well. Very, very well. It was nowhere near as dangerous as I was expecting. I wanted to craft the pipe machine gun because I had this creeping suspicion that they were gonna just bust through at some point, but no, it's mostly just my own design flaws. Those were the only real problem. Got a slightly better chess piece there. Coffee. Ooh. Well, I'm full on water. Don't want to waste it, so for now we'll put it in the campfire with the rest of the water. And now we've gotten all of our goodies. I think I'm going to beat this down entirely. Just gonna get rid of it. So that the zombies will stop going into crawl stance. I really don't like that. Not one bit. It's beyond annoying. Is that red right there? Oh no, it's just a lighting thing. All right, because of the blood boot. We'll just take out the entire roof. It was functioning properly before, and the roof caused issues, so the roof goes. We do have to craft more cobblestone, though. We have to upgrade the rest of our base. And this is the last piece we'll dig it up. Should all tumble once this is gone. Should. Here we go. Rest in spaghetti. Take the rest of that. Well, it's been a busy night. Let's put everything away. The scrap leg armor. I guess we can keep that on us since we'll be going to the trader in the next episode. Now we have a plate here. That's fine. We're going to start filling this area with iron hatches. And I need to, even though I upgraded these, need to replace these bars with the different kind of bar. You can still shoot through it, but it's diagonal, like I had shown prior, like the one beneath this. We need those so that the zombies can't break one block and then sneak around. I forgot that they have engineering degrees and they know the best way to me at all times, even if I don't. So we're gonna have to break all of this down. It's gonna be a little time consuming, but it's worthwhile. If we want to continue to operate as a melee base, it's just the price we pay. Man, I would love to upgrade to a better pickaxe. Have I gotten enough to craft? Hey, what? Why is that favorited? Stop that. Retract. Get rid of it. Axe. I could. I actually could. I could craft an iron pickaxe, but it would only be tier 1, which means it probably wouldn't be worth it. I'll get it as a quest reward at some point, since we're prioritizing that so much. The quest shouldn't be anywhere near as dangerous, now that I've crafted the pipe machine gun. That thing is the great equalizer for panic moments. I did use it during this night, although I don't actually think I had to, I just decided to. Pretty arbitrarily. We'll break down this wood and replace it all with those cornered bars. I mean, we could just make it all out of metal trussings if we wanted to. That's probably the better idea, because you can shoot through those too. It's just harder to see through. Yeah, we might just do the trussings. We'll do the trussings. That way the zombies can't do anything weird, like, I don't know, zombie things. They're always doing weird stuff. You can never rely on the zombies to do anything sensible. They always go full derp at some point. Here we go. Where are the trussing blocks? Actually, no, instead of trussings, can't we just do cube frames? Don't these... You could shoot through these, right? So the one way to science it, put it right here, and if I whip out my machine gun and shoot right at this corner, 
Pow. Yeah, it doesn't need any repairs, so we can just use these instead. So that's what we'll do. It doesn't need to be made of bars, I just need to be able to shoot through it. Actually, do I even need to be able to shoot through it if I'm doing it like this? I don't care anymore. It's just going pure melee base. If the cops start spitting at me, then I'll just have to... I don't know, rethink my strategy. When the cops appear, well, we have other things to worry about anyway. The right side will all be these cubes. Oh, that was the morning ring-a-ding dog. And with it, the end of episode four. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.